Alam mo, tatlong journalism dito sa Pilipinas. Do not ever think that I am here to beautify a journalist. That's not my business. Now, in the matter of killing, killings of journalists, it happens everywhere. Now, there are three kinds of journalists in this country. Those who are the crusaders telling the truth, bearing it all before the public. And sometimes uh, they hit big business or those who cannot tolerate uh, the truth being exposed to the public. To you mga crusaders, and they do not accept money. What is very important to them is their profession and telling the truth to the whole world. Ito yon. Then there's a second class of journalists in this country. Yun yung mga mouthpiece ng vested interest. It could be mining, defending the miners. It could be anything. Uh, it, it could be something which is uh, a, an agent for uh, whatever and those engage in uh, businesses or enterprises which need to be defended and that what you call the publicists and the PROs. The third is the low life of journalists. Ito yung nagbabiyahe, accepting money from illegal sources, exposing wetting, and in return keeping shut their mouth and receive money. And these are the guys whose greed is unlimited. So they are paid now, then they ask for more, and if there's nothing coming their way, they talk more, they destroy people and family, and they die. Yan ang tatlo. And I'm sure that all the senators, all the congressmen, all the governors and mayors and councillors of this country would find agreement in my statement. It's about time. We bear each other. Wag tayong magbulahan. Let us not deny each other the truth. Para wala kayo. Ang problema kasi dito, when you ask a question to us sa mga politiko, it is as if the person killed is a saint. Just because he, he's a journalist, he, journalist, he's not supposed to be killed because he's a journalist. Ah, wag na tayong magbulahan dito. I'm saying this without excuses. No apologies, no nothing. You like to hear it? Fine. If you don't, so be it. That's the truth. Pag tayong magbun, alam ninyo yan. They abound the vultures pretending to be journalists. Ang problema dito, every son of a bitch who claims to be a journalist makes money out of it, mulking money, extorting money from the people. And he is killed, and is he glorified because he's journalist? Eh, kung ganon, if that is the case, then urge everybody, yung walang trabaho, if you do not have any work, and you have graduated from college, be a journalist and make money to the hilt. Huwag tayo magbulahan dito. Yun talaga ang journalism sa Philippines. That is the truth. At ako lang ang kakapagsabi sa inyo. Oh, why do I care? It's the truth. You can ask any congressman now. You can ask any governor, any senator, and that's it. There's always a paid hack. It's not only in other professions. Police, do not ever think that you are in a field of purity. Tapos magsalita kayo din, you slummy, for what? God. You must be joking. You must be joking. Huwag ninyo akong sasabihin ko sa ito. Dito sa Dabao, kay mga Diyos, may gusto akong upakan. 
You know, my son wanted to just buy plastic. You know. Pati anak ko, hiningian pa ng mga ulul. Uh, they think that it's something to do. Because you accept into your field journalists, people who they could not even write straight sentence. Then they go there to their publishers, write anything, and the proofreader will correct it. And he goes around asking money. You want to see it? You visit me incognito. You join me in one when, when I go around. And I would point out to yan, yan, yan. Ano tayo magpulahan dito? Lahat halos lahat tumingi. Anak naman. Ayaw ko lang magsalita. Lahat. 